Hey fashionistas, hi, this is Faith, and you've reached Fashion and Fitness Done Right. That's W-R-I-G-H-T. Today you're coming back and we're doing the transitional spring looks for the mature woman, the seasoned woman with style, the mature woman over 50, and we're diving right in as you can see. We have a nice spring look. We have the traditional nautical look happening here with our blue double-breasted jacket that we got from Lily Silk during the holiday seasons. And as you can see, I'm wearing it with a blue and white striped uh, polo shirt underneath and I have on my white linen skirt. I also have on my beige linen espadrilles and um, I decided to pop it out with my green epi Louis Vuitton bag as you can see. And again, as I said, it's um it's kind of dressy casual. It's a great date night uh, with my husband or uh, maybe in the afternoon, um, brunch after service at the church, right? And there's that green epi from Louis Vuitton that I've had down through the years. And we shop the closet for the shoe. I'm showing you the shoe because normally I don't tie... Uh, anything around my ankle but I took those twillies that I had yeah remember we talked about the twillies when I was showing you how to create um, the look um, I tied them around the ankle to give it um, a more substantial look and we can always dress this look down by adding a dungaree blue jean skirt or we can do the white denim jeans you know whichever way you decide to do it it's available to you and this is look number one Look number two. Look number two is my favorite. It's the black and white window pane look. And um, I have been building up on the black and white. Black and white is always going to be in the closet. This is my reversible cape that I found on Amazon. I kept saying it was eBay, but it was Amazon. And I absolutely love it. And here it is now. And also I found the tie, the neck tie, the blouse that bow ties at the top. And so I have it tied tightly up at the top as a, in a bow. And again, I'm carrying my, um, I think that's Tory Burch. I always say Burke, but it's Tory Burch, my chevron bag, which I absolutely love with the pop of pink. I'm going eventually. To eventually. Eventually happened because... The the um the ambulance was outside making noise. I just figured I'd throw that in there to kind of cut some of the noise out. And again, I have it on with my dad sandals, my um Epi, and I had it on with I'm sorry, my Steve Madden dad sandals. I'm showing you again the Tory Burke um, bag, and I have it on again with my fabulous fabulous um faux leather per jeep pants that i got wide leg pants that i got from eliqui eliqui i hope i'm saying it right and that's the outfit switched it out and put the long version of the duster on that i think i got from rainbow yes i did remember shop the closet and this is our look number three and look number three um these pants it, it looks like it's a suit but it's really not i have the herring bone oversized jacket on i have and that i got from eloquy i have on these plaid pants that i got from nasty gal they're a little too they're a little fitting very fitting for me. I have on this beautiful Calvin Klein top that I got from Amazon. Yes, I love it. And it has some of that print in it, so it also pops. And um, as I'm showing you, I'm rocking the um, yellow Epi Louis Vuitton bag, and I'm rocking all oh, the old Stan Smiths. Stan Smiths have been around as long as I have, since 1960. Yes, I learned that today. Uh-huh. And this look, I love it. It was simple, casual, it's fun. It's very comfortable because the oversized jacket is covering all the things, all the things um, that I choose that I really want to stay covered. Remember, um, the pants were very snug, but I still love them. And here we are already at look number four. I believe it is already, yeah, because we're at the coat. This particular trench coat, as you can see, I got it from ASOS Curve, and I love it. It is a stylish rain coat. I was looking for a trench. I didn't realize that it was um, like in patent leather material, with, but it has a beautiful, beautiful croc print to it. And um, I just recently got it. There it is, I'm showing you from, and it's again, I said at ASOS Curve. 
I really got it for a steal. It was over $100, and I think I paid a little over $30 for it during their sale. I'm showing you, I'm popping it with my Louis Vuitton um, uh, bag. With, I tied one of my um, one of my uh, um, eBay uh, twillies on it, and it really is a comfortable look. I want you to know that this coat is a size 14. ASOS Curve, I think that you, if you decide to get it, you would have to size down because I'm a 16, and this coat was even a little too big, but I loved it so much I decided that I would just keep it because I really was looking for a winter white, I mean, a winter white trench coat. I just didn't realize that it was made with um, this material, but once it came, I loved the pattern on it because it looks like croc. So I loved it. I decided to keep it, and I'm trying to show you now. I'm going to come close, but it won't show up because the closer I get, the more I'm going to blur out the camera. I just want you to know that it was absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful find, and I checked. It is still on sale, ladies. If you decide you want to, I'll leave you the information down. Where? In my comment section, of course. Moving on, we're going into outfit num look number five. Look number five is another spring. Remember, I, I wanted to have an opportunity to introduce these two coats to you, these two spring coats, and this particular one also. This one is from Amazon, and it is from the Amazon Prime wardrobe and I believe this coat was about 65 or 69 bucks I'm not really sure but you can check it's it goes all the way up to a double X I started with the large and then I sent back sent it back I asked for the double X and it was too big and then I just got the extra large and even that's a little snug I actually could I could have kept the uh, large from the beginning but I absolutely love it I hope you'll love it pay it um note I'm saying pay attention I was going to tell you to um remember that these are the spring things that we're transitioning because there's still going to be a few cool days so I don't want to miss it these finds right here this is what I was going to say pay attention these are brand new shades that I've gotten from Amazon designer shades that at a later time I'm going to enter I'm going to show you them and they are a great find I bought them in brown and I bought them in black they were so so beautiful and that's it ladies so, as always, thank you for coming to my channel. Remember that we can do all things through Christ, who has given us strength, because great is he that is within us, that anything will come against in the world. And you'll be well.